Well hello and welcome back to Math Tea UK and as you can see I am actually sat in my man cave. It's a beautiful evening out there but I just thought I'd come and do the video in and here. Before I kick off this is nothing to do with fishing this is a camping gear and a look-see at some items that I bought recently. I would just like to say before the video starts that quite recently one of the YouTubers that I watch and have watched for many many years has unfortunately died and the Mega Woods Walker uh, was somebody who I first subscribed to when I first started getting into YouTube and I was watching his latest video just a few weeks ago and unfortunately um, when I was looking at some of the comments after watching the video and I was writing my comment I noticed the RIP and I just looked a bit further and then realized he died just shortly after making that last video. If you've never seen Mega Woods Walker, um, he was into his uh, hot tent, winter hot tenting, and also showed you lots and lots of gear and different ways to use gear. And he was also into his sacred bacon. And it's a real shame that someone like that has gone because very, very entertaining, massive amount of subs and he deserved every single one of them so it's a real shame so I hope wherever you are Mega Woods Walker I hope you're having your sacred bacon and uh, you will be missed and to pinch his phrase just this once what are we going to do today? So what are we doing today? Well we are looking at the Trekology Yitzi Go and the Yitzi Go Plus including what is known as the beach map. So here are our two items. I will put the weights up for you now. This is the Yitzi Go and this is the Yitzi Go Plus. What's the difference? About a tenner. <laughs> No, there is, a, there is a difference, and I'll, and I'll show you later what the differences are, uh, but there are some important things you must know if you're going to get one of these things. Now, what are they? Well, the chairs. They are camping chairs, and they do look a bit bulky, and they do look a bit big, but you see, 10, 15, 20 years ago, I wouldn't even dream of carrying a chair with me because it wasn't even in my remit to carry a chair. I would just sit on the ground, but as I get older, I want my creature comforts more. I've been watching people use these chairs for some time now and I thought to myself, you know what, I could do with one of them. And on the last winter holiday with my wife and I, we went to Scotland walking around Skye and all those places and it was absolutely wonderful. And every time we stopped we needed to find a knoll or something to sit on and enable us to rest. Well I'm always the pack mule anyhow, so I always fill up that bergen just over my shoulder, that one or a another and I always end up being the pack mule and I carry all the gear so I might as well chuck in a couple of chairs. Now I bought the Go Plus to start with, realised it made a bit of a mistake, a bit of an error for me and then went for the standard Yitzi Go. Without any further ado we shall have a look at the chairs, we shall have a look at what makes them different and have a look at why I believe the first chair I got isn't the right one for me. Now then, here we go. Each one comes with its own bag. We're going to look at the more advanced one right now. This is advanced because it is adjustable. Unlike the older one, you get your seat and you get a series of pre-attached by elasticated cord poles. This can take up to a weight of over 300 pounds, so I'm okay. Now as with all these chairs, you simply just look at it, it's self-explanatory. You don't need to think about anything, you just need to put it together. And there we are. I'm just going to stand up now, we're going to zoom back so that you get a better picture of everything and we see how we go. Now the seat cover comes with 
two pockets either side. You can always tell the top straight away because it has the Trekology emblem there. And basically, you put your chair into place, you grab the bottom of the seat, and each corner, I will show you a close up of those now, has these little grommets. And you place those over your seat ends. You then take the back, and on the back, you will notice you've got some thumb pulls. And again, I will show you a close up of those thumb pulls now. And you grab one and you hook it over your end and do the same that side. And that is your chair complete. And there we go, one chair. Now you can relax very well in it. You can lean right back and you can relax. And that's what you need sometimes when you've been on the trail as you get old. You need to rest your back and this does. Yeah, because I'm quite heavy it is a bit rickety but it does hold my weight very stable. There is a disadvantage with this type. We'll have a look at it later but first oh, ice cold lemon water and no it's not alcohol. But first I'm going to show you how to adjust this to get a little bit more height. This is what makes this one the Go Plus because it's adjustable and you get more height with it. So let's adjust it now and have a look. Even better. So that now is a real comfortable seat. Much higher, much easier to get in and out of. And yeah, I do like it. And it's, it's well suited for a big butt too. So yeah, it's, it's quite a good seat this. Now disadvantages with this are these feet will sink into the mud. No matter what you do, if you sit on soft ground in these, you will sink straight into the mud. And there is nothing you can do about it. So dismount with the chair, it's just reverse order, grab the thumb turn, pull it, pull it, thumb turn, thumb loop, pull it, pull it, there you go. And if you really need to see me do it, There is no science to this. It's a gingangoli. You make it work. There, there's no science to that at all. And that just goes easily. Back into the bag. So that is the Trekology Yitzi Go Plus. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about why that's not suitable for me. So despite really liking this chair, there is a bit of a drama with it for me, and that is I did mention earlier, that you sink into the ground with it, and you do, there's not much you can do about it on the Go Plus. But if you go to the earlier version, or the other version, which is non-adjustable, there is something which will stop you sinking into the ground. And this is also a lighter chair. Now I've got in here the sand mat, the chair and the cover and it's still lighter than the Go Plus. Uh, so it, this is actually a better deal. Now it's not as wide and it doesn't go as high but it's still just as comfortable and the sand mat makes a massive difference. Now they call it a sand mat, but it's also good for mud and it's also good for snow. How do I know that?
because I've not used it in the snow and mud but I have seen people that have and I have watched videos of them doing it especially a guy called Matthew Poser um, a really good channel actually a huge following a huge following this guy is insane he just goes out in all weathers with his dog and Monty and Rooks and they just go canoeing he just lives the lifestyle that I would love to live and I'm not jealous but I'm rather envious of his lifestyle and I'd really love to be able to do what he does but unfortunately I can't do it um, yeah so there you go uh, he, he, he uses it in all conditions and he uses this type of chair there is a there, he uses a different brand there is a, there's plenty of brands there's a much more expensive brand but it's the same bleeding chair um, this is an Amazon based company so and it less waffle let's have a look at this chair then you will notice as I start to take the chair out everything is pretty much the same and there is your sand mat and let's put this together now and I'll show you how it works let's get the cover on as before go there's your chair now for the magic bit turn your chair upside down and you do the same again this time with the sand mat and I'll show you a good close-up look at that in a minute your sand mat goes over the feet now the reason that you need this chair which is the Yitzi Go and not the Yitzi Go Plus is the sand mat will only fit this version if you try if you buy the Go Plus and you try and use this mat with it, it won't work. Because the Go Plus is wider and it's, this is only designed for these feet. Now look at that. Look. You might think now that looks pathetic and a bit stupid. And I'd be in some way to agree with you. It's got a little buckle that you clip on to or I will clip it up. Just for the uh, sake of it. There we are, the buckle's clipped up now. Now I've seen that work. I know that works. And I've watched the mud and snow build up underneath and the chair remain stable. And without it, the, the back legs sink straight into the ground and, and back you go. So, and, and your chair will break. So it is vital if you're the sort of hiker and camper that goes out and about in all kinds of weather, like I do, and you want a comfy chair, you must make sure you take the mud feet with you or the uh, sand mat as they call it and then that way you'll make sure that you won't sink back into the snow, sand, mud or whatever. So let's get my bum sat in this one. Yeah, noticeably thinner on the hips but again I can lean right back and relax. Bonus footage I have here in front of me an old t-shirt I want you to have a look at it. I want you to look at the name. It's on that. Recognise that emblem there? Under Armour. This is one of the original Under Armour garments made for the US Army. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. There. It was designed Believe it or not, to go under your armour. That's exactly what it was designed for. That's why it's called Under Armour. And all the gear that you wear around the shops and your tracky bottoms and your hats, caps and socks and pants all originated from these items here. This is the original Under Armour shirt designed to be worn in the desert underneath your body armour. And it's designed in a way that it wicks water off your body and stops you feeling wet and it was one of the first kinds that was out there so when when you wear your garment around town remember it's called Under Armour for a reason because that's what the original garments were designed for you might not have known that actually I just thought I'd bring that up I just I rediscovered my old t-shirt just a few weeks ago and I thought I'd use that in one of my videos here you go <laughs> 
there are your thumb pulls. This is the slot the front of the chair sits into. The base of your mud, sand and snow mat. Well that pretty much concludes the short video on the Trekology chairs. I will say I do like them. Um, I quite like the idea of the sand mat. That works for me more when I'm out hiking and walking and camping. One thing I will mention is that I did actually put my wiki up three up to see if I could actually sit in my chair in the tent and it is just possible but it doesn't give you a lot of room. So it's not ideal for sitting inside my tent, but it will give me the comfort and luxury should the weather allow me to sit outside more comfortable. So there you go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that. It was short. And as I started at the beginning of the video, I will say, Mega Woods Walker, you're going to be missed, mate. Farewell, buddy. Hey, everybody. It's the Walker. So what are we doing today? Well, today I'm out in the woods for a short weekend morning outing. Um, it's actually, I think it's like a bushcraft tradition is go out in the morning, you got like, you know, your bushcraft knife and your pack and you want to uh, mess around with some wood, do an overly complex means of, um, starting a fire to practice up some skills.